Hello everybody, I'm Marco D'Ambros and this is the let's say second part of our IK element chain. Um, so in the first part we uh, we, saw, we saw how to create this chain and how to chain all the elements together etc 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 so if you miss it you can just go and check that video. In this part we are going to implement the collision system with uh, mesh. Um, the the idea is very simple, uh, like uh, we saw multiple times now, uh, um, almost in every <laughs> uh, collision system that I made, the concept is always that one, so we're just going to reproduce the same thing. So we have our mesh, we have our point elements, I call user element, I do like on both sides, so just to have the differences. Uh, we are going to find the closest point, so technically the closest point is going to be here, but just for the sake of uh, clearness on the draw, I'm going to create the closest point like here. So this is going to be our pause, uh, closest point. So what we want to do, we want to create a vector from our point and our closest point, right? We're going to find the normal on, this is our normal, point, normal, uh, point collision normal, the, po the, the normal of our point closest point closes on uh, mesh point. Sorry for the um, we are going to do a dot, uh, dot product between these two vector. In this way, we can find the projection. This projection uh, is gonna be positive if the two vector has the same direction, and negative is if it's the opposite direction. So, when a vector has the same direction for, of my normal, this means it's it's above the the mesh, so there is no collision. Uh, vice versa, they're gonna be. Uh, collision um, uh, sorry there, there's gonna be a col uh, there's gonna be a collision um, so yeah we are going to do this con uh, this uh, this condition and check it et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so let's start with create our plane or oh, our mesh doesn't doesn't need to be a plane let's do this 50 feet uh, let's go to okay. is a little bit too much, but anyway, uh, so just to have something here to collide with, then it's not flat. Awesome. So, uh, four things. First things first. We want to. Uh, oh, let's click input. <clears throat> so, actually, let's uh, before say something. So, we we want to create something here. But so we already inside our solver we have uh, our iterate, and this iteration is going to element by element, and you know check some condition. So would be. Uh, so someone would be automatically thinking that that is going to be the right place to put the collision. So of every iteration, we're going to check if they collide or not and give the proper position. So this one is our reposition, so it kind of makes sense. And I do agree with you, but just to think about it, um, every time then you do this sort of iteration, you're going to call, like, say, a new API. So this is like a call, and you're doing this call for every iteration. Uh, luckily enough, Bifrost um, allows us to... Uh, Query all the position in once. So if I check get closest point location or point, we're going to check the differences later. We can as as an input to give like an array as a position. So the node is automatically do all in once. So instead to do this kind of computation of every iteration, we want to collect all our position and in one shot find um, if uh, our point collide or not. So okay, let's create this one inside a compound. Where is went? So position. So we want to have a geometry. Position and position. Here we go. So this is gonna be our line. Actually, so. Okay, um, so let's uh, connect this one here. It's gonna be our collide. 
Okay, uh, so we want to output our geometry. So now we want to connect our word mesh to our geometry. Here you go. So we get all our output. We go inside the uh, our collide node and we are going to uh, so bypass this col this uh, connection with our new collide position so what we want we want to get the closest uh, location actually let's get the closest point and later we're going to see the difference with the closest point um, Um, so we want to sample properties, okay? We want to sample property and we want to sample our uh, location that we find with the closest point. There you go. The default value is going to be vector 3. Let's, uh, let's create value node. There you go. So we have our output. Uh, so we input the geometry, our uh, locations, our output position. Uh, this by default is ready point position, so it's what we want. And we can just duplicate it, and this is going to be our normal, um, our normal. So now we have our point. We have a point, we have our closest point, we have our, our normal, so I think we have almost everything. So let's create the first vector, and the first vector is my point position on the geometry, and on my location, point position actually. Cool. We are going to do the dot product between this vector to uh, the normal, now then we have this this vector here where this we have the dot product of the projection. We want to check if this value is greater or not than zero. So it's gonna be these. And this is gonna be our condition. So we can now create the if node where we input our condition. So if it's true, we are going to have a collision. Oops, sorry. A sample composition. And if it's not, we are going to have our normal position. And we can output this one. So now that we have our output position, we can change here. Here you go. Actually, I want to show you something, something else. If for any reason, like you made a mistake in terms of order, like it can be a, the doc, the universe, like the dot product, uh, etc. You can even uh, like notice very easily. I can just show you like a very quick example. So, for example, uh, it's gonna be something like that. You can notice like without collision, you already have a projection there. So the only things you can do is you can reverse uh, inverse this one, or inverse that one, or instead to get it uh, use the less. But so the 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 logic is absolutely the same. Depends which direction you get all the values. So. Well, I already see everything now is works fine. So if I have my uh, target is going close to the mesh, let's see. Let me see here as well. So let's delete everything here. You can see here the sphere. You can see here the sphere that are sliding on top of our geometry. Actually, you probably want to. There you go. So, if you see, everything slides properly. There you go. And we have uh, our collision system as well implemented on our uh, IK element chain system. Uh, cool, I think that's it. Thank you very much to follow me and catch you next time. Mark